Welcome to my first VBA tutorial slash tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to import multiple tables all at once with Microsoft Access uh, externally. So typically what you'd want to do is you'd want to go to external data and click on text file, click on link to the data source by creating a link table, browse to the file you want. As you can see, I have multiple files in this directory. I want to select them all, but it won't let me. I hold shift, I hold control, it does not let me. One at a time is all it lets me do. So let's just go ahead and do that manually real quick. Follow the steps. Uh, you have your data. You have headers in your first row. Or your first call, yeah, your first row. And Microsoft Access does a pretty good job of determining what's what. So on this field here, you know, date time field, uh, text field, long integer, it does a pretty good job of figuring out the data types. Okay, so then you finished and that's creating one linked table. If you right click on it and go to open, you'll see that it worked, right? Now that's not that bad, but when you have, you know, a couple hundred tables you want to link, that could be very time consuming and tedious. So let's delete this and do this the automated way using VBA. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Um, okay, to get to the VBA editor, have Microsoft Access open and press Alt and F11 at the same time, and that should open up the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications editor. On the very top hand, left hand side here, we have a navigation pane. Right click on it, click on Insert Module. And you'll see it has option compare database and a text field here. Let's just delete that option because we're going to paste something in there anyways. Uh, let's call this something meaningful by going down to the properties area right here. And where it says module one, let's call it link tables. It doesn't accept spaces. Okay, so now as you can see that in our navigation pane, it's now called linked, link tables. Okay, where do we find the code? We go to www.devgen.com which is right here. I have it open already. devgen.com and scroll down to programming VBA. At the time of this recording, I only have one blog post in here. So it's the very first one. Click on it. As you can see, it's got a little list of how to do this. Uh, we're interested in step four. We're going to paste the following code into the text area. So click on this copy button here. And it highlights it, but doesn't actually copy it. So either hit Control C or right click and go to copy. And then let's go back to our editor and just paste that right in there. And there we go. We have our code. I'm going to go ahead and split my screens here. You have the code here and Microsoft Access. I will split the screen this way. Okay, so the next step. We want to change the directory where this is lo looking and you can see right here the highlighted line that it has a directory path but it's the wrong one. So let's go ahead and delete what's in the quotes but note that there's a backslash at the very end. We're going to delete all that. Let's go to where our files are located. In my case I navigated to them through the Explorer and I have all these files I want to link and make them tables in Microsoft Access. Um, Click on the bar up top here, the address bar, and control C, and that'll get the address that you want in your editor. So in between those quotes, control V, and don't forget there was a backslash, so hit the backslash button. And that's that. Let me minimize this here and let you see what's going to happen next. Now with, with any VBA code, you want to, when you run these, you want to make sure your cursor is within the sub and the end sub that you want to actually run because it'll run multiple subs if you have them. Like if your cursor was down here at a different sub, it'll run that. So anyways, click between these two and then hit this little play button right here. And you can see it's doing something. And it's it's going through each file. It's looking for .csv files and it's going to externally link them to Microsoft Access. Now Microsoft Access has a two gigabyte limit on how big it can be. So externally linking is very powerful because you can have um, you know, 15, 20 gigabytes of data all externally linked. And then your actual Microsoft uh, Access file is still gonna be relatively small, maybe two or three megabytes, it, it depends. But two gigabytes, if you actually had these tables internal, it would, it would run out quick. 
So 24 files were linked. Let's double check that by going back over here and right click and click on open. And as you can see, they're linked. So these files have um, successfully been linked. I hope this video helps you save time in the future. And if you enjoy this video, go to www.devgin.com, click on any affiliate Amazon link, purchase a book or something, and any type of purchase is gonna be normal price for you and I get a small tiny percentage to help me run videos like this. Thank you.